so welcome everybody for those that welcome everybody for those that are new um, um my name is Lee Moore and I'm sure you have um, either been invited by somebody you received my YouTube videos or something of that sort so welcome if you're new um, Yvonne who is um, her name on here is Susie 800-1, apparently, um, is our moderator tonight. She's our, the moderator for my shows, and so she can answer any questions that you may have, and um, she, she can send me private messages. She's got my cell phone, so if you need anything right away, just have her send me a message, but I doubt you'll need something urgent during a craft show. <laughs> <laughs> At least I hope not. Uh. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm really excited. Yeah, and for those of you that are wondering what I'm drinking, yes, I'm drinking tea, okay? Uh, not tea, actually. It's lemon water with a little bit of honey. I, I love it. It's so good for you. Every once in a while, I'll put cayenne pepper in it, and it's supposed to be a really great cleanse. Okay, now that we're done with that, what Limor is drinking. Let's get to what we're making tonight because you know what? I'm, um, I, I almost just, I don't want to run out of time because I'm just so excited to make this tonight. And I'm going to be using so many um, products from the Flying Unicorn um, store and their company, their, their products from several different companies. And I'm just super excited and I can't wait to sort of show them to you tonight. So um, Yvonne can certainly, um, We'll post the link for you if you need it, if it's something that you need to just have. And we have the amazing Alda, the owner of the Flying Unicorn tonight with us. She's um, honoring us with her amazing presence. So she may be able to answer. I did hit record. Thank you. She may be able to answer any questions that you may have as well. So let's get started. I'm just going to grab what I'm going to use, my stash over here. And I was very prepared today. Yep, I prepped this afternoon. You guys are going to be very impressed. So, um, let me just grab it. It's behind me here. So, the first thing that um, I want to show you is the collection that we're going to use. And um, I'm not sure if any of you have seen this, but this is paper by, it's called uh, 13 Arts. Okay. And it's just so gorgeous. It's very mixed media like. Check this out. Is that not amazing? Hey, Pocono Pam. It's Pam. Isn't this paper amazing? Just stunning, okay? And this um, this collection right here is the Frosted Life, and this paper is called Frosted Dust. So very mixed media. If you're a mixed media junkie, this is for you. Um, and then let me just find the other ones from the Frosted Life. The ones I pulled are the ones that I'm actually going to be using today, okay? So this is not the entire collection. And then I'm going to be using these ones right here, these two. And um, look how beautiful. And there's these awesome little tags that you can grab from them. But check this one out. I love this one. Just so pretty, right? And look at this. This is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So really pretty. I'll be using that. I'll be using this paper right here, again, from the Frosted Life. This is just so, so beautiful. I just love these colors, right? This right here, look how stunning that is. I know, right? The papers are unbelievable. And um, this collection right here is the Wintertime Collection. And this is actually going to be our cover for a mini album. Okay, so I'll be using that. So pretty. And this one, the same collection. Really, really pretty. Lots of pattern. Kind of hard to see probably but really really pretty <laughs> i'm sure we need more paper everybody does check the back of this paper if that is not flipping cool i don't know what is can you guys see the detailing on that isn't it just amazing okay so we'll use that we'll use this one and check out the cracked effect and this is called winter time and it's by Oh, this is by Studio 75. The other one was by 13 Arts, and this one's by Studio 75. I thought it was the same company. I don't know why, because I'm crazy. Okay, so pretty. Okay. Oh, is it 13 Arts, or is it... This is... Um, this one says Studio 75. 
Is that the same thing? And then the other one said 13 arts. I don't know. Um, this one is, again, Studio 75 Winter Time. Super pretty. Love that. No? Okay. They're different? Okay. And look at this one. I love that with the bird. It's just so winter-like, so mixed media-like. It's just so me. I love it. And then this one, so pretty with the browns, and it's kind of like stained. It's like somebody threw some, you know, tea on it or something. Yeah, really, really pretty. And then last but not least, check out this one with the beautiful bird cage. I'm not sure you can. Can you guys see that? Isn't that? I love that one too. They're so. I know, drooling on your keyboard. Good. That's what we want you to do tonight. So that's look, that's the paper line we'll be using tonight. Okay. So I just want to show you really quick, and then. The other thing we're going to be using tonight, of course, is if you have, I'm just going to go over supplies if you guys are following along, okay? If you're a um, grunge board, so if you have grunge board, that's great because it's really easy to use. Or if you have any chipboard, um, that's fine. Or cardboard, whatever you like to work with, that's totally fine. And you'll need a 6 by 12 sheet, okay? And um, the other thing that you want to get is you want to get charms of your choice. But what I want to do is I want to tease you a lot, okay? I know. Don't kill me when I do this, all right? But these are the amazing um, or, um, adornments by the Flying Unicorn. And I'm going to be using these tonight on my mini album. But I'm going to show them to you. Are these not fantastic? Sorry about the weird glare of the light. Like, hang on a second. Let me see if I can. There we go. Is that not stunning? And check this one out. These are so huge, like they're giant. Okay, so there's those. These are my absolute favorite. This is my favorite right there. Stunning, right? Yeah, I know, right? Hoarding, totally. I want to hoard them, but I'm going to use them tonight. This flower one, and they're so heavy, like they're so heavy. I wish you could just feel them. And... This is turned around, so let me just um, unflip it. Oh, no. Never mind. Sorry. Just there. Isn't that pretty? Lots of birds. Yeah, these are from the Flying Unicorn. This is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, my word. Look at the crowns. Stunning, right? All right. And then these ones. So pretty hearts and such okay and look at these you guys check these out okay I have to pull one out okay because I gotta show you it's insanity like these things are so flipping beefy like does this open up I wonder if it opens up I don't think so but anyways look at this thing it's huge I just ripped the thing off sorry isn't that giant so gorgeous right okay okay so there's that and then these super pretty look at these birds three-dimensional birds i don't know if you can see that sorry and then right here and that's it okay so those are some of the charms that we'll be using tonight I just wanted to tease you with those. I hope you guys can see me okay, because I can't see my, my own screen, okay? Because there's so many views, viewers on tonight that um, that's what happens sometimes when we have too many viewers on. It's uh, It kind of slows my screen down a little bit. Okay, so I'm just kind of giving you the what we're going to use tonight uh, since I started just a little bit early, okay? And then last but not least, I'm going to show you some of the embellishments I'll be using tonight. And so what you want to get... I did say grunge board, yes? Okay. The other thing, I uh, this is just a frame that I got from Michaels. M uh, pretty much everything you see here, I'm going to say 95% of the stuff I'll be using tonight is from the Flying Unicorn. And I'll tell you what isn't, which is, um, this is from Michaels. It's that cheap $150 frame. That's all it is, okay? But you can use any frame that you have, okay? It can be anything like... Um, I wanted to show you, you could, you could use this one. This one we have at the Flying Unicorn. It's that shabby chic frame. I just didn't quite want to use this tonight. Um, I really picked this up yesterday and I just wanted to use it. So, um, but you can certainly use anything you want. 
I'm going to use these amazing textured ribbons by the Flying Unicorn. Aren't they gorgeously amazing? So love these. I really can't wait to show you how to use them because they're so fun. These are, um, you cannot get these at the Flying Unicorn. These are just hinges and stuff from drawer pulls from, uh, I don't know where I got them from, like a recycling place. They're awesome. Okay, so these are really fun to have. Um, so I'll be using one of those tonight. I'll be using, I'm not going to use all these flowers, but I'll certainly be using a majority of these. Um, these are the uh, Prima Flowers, the Vianetta Almanac collection. So pretty. Um, I believe these are also from the Almanac collection. They're called uh, Pearl Baby Almanac. Okay, and I think we used one on the one class already. Really gorgeous. And these right here, we used it on a couple other classes. This one's called Songbird Veneta. And I love these because they're white and you can just spray them with whatever you want. Um, with, it's called Parisa Aspen White. Okay. And uh, what else? Eminence Collection. That's what these are called, which are stunning, right? All right. So there's that. And uh, I'll probably be using some of these wooden chips, uh, wooden tickets by Prima, which are uh, item 554408, okay? And they're really, really cute. And I'm sorry, I can't see who's on right now because i got to look at the other screen to see if I can make this work. I'm going to be using uh, just two of these bling pieces. I don't know if you can see that okay. And these are just um, some bling that's also available. And what I'm really excited about to show you is I'm going to be using this really awesome stencil by um, Scrap Effects. Isn't this stunning? I love that. So I'll be using that. And I will be using some of this chipboard by the Dusty Addicts. And this is all in um, at the Flying Unicorn, okay? So if you like it, you can certainly purchase it. And then I'll be using a little bit of this bird with the twigs. I'm probably going to cut it up a little bit. But as you saw earlier, that one page has this in it. So this one's from Twiddly Bits. Okay, but it's so pretty, right? And then I'm. this is from Fab Scraps. I'm not sure I'm using this, but I grabbed it just in case. And I love this one. So I'll be using this clock, which I love. And this is from Scrap FX. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to use this one or this one. But either one of these. And one of them's from Dusty Addicts and the other one's from Scrap FX. And they are a little bit different, as you can see. <laughs> you like my nails? Thank you. All right. So let's get started. And oh, last but not least, I'll probably use some of these awesome mistable um, canvas sheet by uh, Prima. Okay. But I haven't quite decided whether I'll use this one or not. So I'm just going to put it off to the side. It's kind of like a maybe thing. All right. So in order to get started, what you need is this. Let me just move this so that I don't get lost. You're going to need a piece of grunge board, cardboard, or chipboard, whatever it is that you like to use. Okay. And you're going to need a scoring board. And so if you have one or if your cutter has a scorer, that's fine. And you're going to need to cut it 6 by 12. Okay? And <laughs> I'm sorry I'm killing you tonight. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to score this at, um, what did I say, 5.5 by 6.5. And, and it's already pre-scored. I already did it before the show. And so you will have your center. Okay? And what we're going to use is we're going to use these awesome ring binders by Tim Holtz, which I forgot to show you earlier. Okay. And they look like this. And so you can actually clip them right here to create a mini album. Okay. So, oh my God, you're so funny. Okay. <laughs> you want to dust all those floors? Oh my God. All right. So that's what you're going to do with that. And then um, you're going to need to do the exact same thing with whatever paper you're going to use on the inside of the of the um, mini album. And the paper that I'm going to use, I already pre-picked them before the show. And now I just kind of put them somewhere. They're right here, these two. 
okay so i want the inside to be white and so you're going to do the exact same thing but first you want to do is you want to cut the um the little strips off so we'll do that so i'm just going to put this off to the side for a moment i bought that cool little teal cart from ikea that everybody has yesterday so i'm super excited about that okay so just like that and this one by the way is called uh what did i say winter time 06 and then the other one which is the cover is going to be called winter time 02 okay fabulous so let's put this off to the side for just a moment. We'll take our score back. And what we want to do is we want to score the inside. We want to score the page that's going to go on the inside, which is this one. So once again, we want to make sure that it's at 12. It is. So we want to score it at five and a half. Can you guys see me all right? And six and a half. Okay just like that and what I really like to do so that it doesn't rip is I actually like to turn it around and I like to do both sides okay that's just what I like to do okay you bet you be all right and I'm not going to score the other side because I'm actually going to cut it well actually let's score it and then I can cut it I'm actually not going to be using um, this full sheet for the front but I am going to score it anyway you'll see what I'll do in a moment so I'm just going to score it on the one side and I can go ahead and put this away because I don't think I'll need it again tonight so what I want to do is I want to glue this now onto here okay and I'm going to need to cut a little bit but I like to use my craft knife for that okay so I am going to glue this on and I like to use um, I don't like to use liquid glue. I usually love to use my Suquain tape. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's my favorite thing to use. Or you can use your ATG gun or um, anything like that. But I love my Suquain tape. I know uh, it's kind of like score tape, but this is what I get here. So um, I, I, don't, I don't get score tape where I live. So I buy Suquain tape. I haven't found score tape anywhere. I think I'd have to order it online, but it's the exact same thing. In fact, I bet you score tape makes this. You've never been to Ikea? What is the matter with you? It's like, um, it's like the best thing ever. What did you say? Same manufacturer, different name. Oh, okay. Good to know. Okay, so I'm just applying it, and it's expensive, I know. It's not the cheapest tape, but you know what? It holds so amazingly well that it just, it's kind of worth it, right? If you're going to have something that you're going to treasure, why not use a proper adhesive? Now, if you're going to send it to a friend, use the bad adhesive. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I'm just joking. Don't get mad. I was only kidding. <laughs> now they're going to be like, oh, great. I received a gift from Lee Moore, and you should see what she sent me. She used the cheap tape. <laughs> she went to Dollarama. All right. So I'm just using my, um, I, I love to use my little, um, what do you call it? My Prima tool to, to peel this off. It's like my favorite tool on the planet. I could sleep with it. In case a burglar comes in, I'll just use my Prima tool. Don't touch me. Right? Don't come near me. Rip your eye out. <laughs> you don't want to be my friend anymore? All right. I'm sorry. And try not to touch the sticky stuff because the oils from your fingers really, um, really take the adhesive away. And then um, it's not good. That's right, it's crafty self-defense. You got it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, ow, I just got myself in the nose. Nothing like a little paper cut in the nose, no problem. 
a lip. It's like, what happened to you? Oh, you know, I was crafting. Cut myself in the nose. Like, you know, my paper jumped at me. It attacked me. My paper attacked me. Okay, I'm just cutting this off. Okay. All right. Perfect the mom though. See? Ta-da. All right. So we have the back cover or the inside cover already done. Right? So just like that. And what you want to make sure you do is you really want to start bending it. This is why I really love to use grunge board for creating these mini albums. Um, <laughs> just saying. I say that all the time. Just saying. I was, my husband drives, it drives him crazy. I'll be like, I'll say something and then I'll just go, just saying. <laughs> drives him nuts. Okay. So you really want to make sure that, um, you play with it so that it doesn't rip. Okay. And then now this is going to go on the inside, right? It's just like this. And now we can go ahead and put our little bugger and we're going to need, it comes with the, um, with these things, these brads, that's what they're called. I, I know what they're called, really. Okay, and then we're gonna need our, need our crocodile. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a, do I seriously do not have a pencil around here? Okay, let's use a pen. The screen pen will do. And then I just want to mark where I need to punch the holes. So right here and right here. And I promise you, we will get to the, part of the project that's super fun in a moment, but first we need to build the album, right? So if you're bored, I'm sorry. All right, and I can't quite reach, there we go. One and two. This is a super mini album that you can, super easy mini album you can build if you don't have a cinch or if you don't have, you know, a machine that, you know, creates binding. Okay, so just a really easy thing. And actually, these are pretty cheap. You get two for five twenty-five, and that's in Canada. I think it's a dollar less in the U.S. That would be my guess. I bet ya. And the reason that I'm not doing the this side yet is because I don't. I want to be able to cover these guys, right? So if I put the paper before it, then you're gonna see these guys, right? So you don't want to do that. And where did it go? Right here. This sucker is going to, oh, before I do that, I'm sorry, hang on. I forgot to do something. Before you do that, I actually like to apply some glue to these guys because I find that they move a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to add some quick dry glue. And my new favorite glue is the Beacon glue. This Beacon 3-in-1 is awesome. Okay, and it's brand new. So let me grab my Gigantor scissors, right? I can kill someone with this one too, right? Okay, there we go. Whoa, and it really comes out when you open it. It's got some bubbles. So I just kind of apply some right here just so that um, it really just sits nicer. I hope you guys can see me because honestly, I can't see myself. Just saying, just saying. And I'm just going to hold it for a minute until it dries really quickly. So this is your opportunity to ask me questions. Don't you love my giant scissors? For those of you that have never seen it before, they're amazing. Lots of people on tonight. Holy smoky rollies. I love it. I love it. What kind of glue? I am using the uh, Beacon 3-in-1 Advanced Glue. So it's for... Uh, crystal, it says crystal clear, instant grab, fast drying glue. <laughs> it's for everything, but it's my new favorite. I went through a whole bottle the other day. I had to go pick up another one. So I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, let me smell it. I'll tell you if it smells. Hang on. Now that I'm sniffing glue. Um, not bad, actually. Surprising. Not bad. <laughs> Yes, um, I thought it's. I thought there is a Fabri-Tac, or they changed Fabri-Tac to this. I'm confused. 
yeah it's awesome glue oh wow it's I don't need to even hold it as long as I did I think it was already good okay so I'm just putting these through so that I know that it's secure you could probably use hot glue I just find that sometimes depending on the temperature where you live hot glue can be a little bit temperamental so it can peel off after a long period of time so I don't know so it's still moving a little bit only because it's still drying a little bit okay but that's okay it's pretty good so the next thing that I want to do is um, I actually want to put glue on this side and so I don't actually want this spine I want it to do I want it to be a different color so uh, I just want a cool contrast that's all I want to be different I just want to be different so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this off to the side for a moment. And the way that you, I like to, oh, I left my, darn it, I left my um, ruler upstairs. My Tim Holtz ruler upstairs, so I'll use this. But usually I like to line up, can you guys see? I like to line up my, um, my ruler to where I'm going to cut. Hopefully you guys can see. And because it allows the knife to just kind of be guided I'm not even sure I cut straight but that's okay I have a serious glare my Tim Holtz ones don't give me a glare all right just like that okay so that's what I want to do I don't want this piece I'm going to pull that off to the side and I'm going to put these guys and as soon as we're done building this we are getting to the cool part because they're like come on woman hurry up hurry up what are you doing to us where did my tape go here it is we're using the sequin tape again hey Shauna how are you how is it going okay just like that and then we're going to put some right here usually I use scissors but tonight I'm just not wanting to I'm being different I'm being difficult and different tonight we're making a mini album and it's going to be so mixed media like you're going to just you're just going to love it but first we got to build it right we're going to do the pages last okay <laughs> at least what we'll get to is the the cover that's our goal right all right the goal is the cover we might have to do part two tomorrow or something hopefully not but we'll see okay let's do this one first let's apply this guy this puppy oh this string is like getting all over me there we go just like that loving it I'll cut that in a moment and then we'll just take this off this is a super easy album to make who's crafting along with me tonight I know that there's lots of people that said they were crafting with me tonight because I posted some of the supplies the paper is by um, uh, Studio 75 and um, 13 Arts. That's what I'll be using tonight. And you can get this paper at the Flying Unicorn if you like it. It is stunning. All you mixed media junkies are going to fall in love. The pic, I bet you the video does not actually even do it justice. It is that pretty. Just saying. I'm just saying a lot today. Just saying. It's my new saying. Just saying. It's my new saying. Okay. Usually, actually, when I cut with my craft knife, I actually like to use a glass mat. How many of you like to use a glass mat? Oh. Uh, you know what? You should never use your uh, printer from home when you're uh, uh, using mixed media. I actually use those photos for other things, but I have mine printed when I'm doing mixed media. Yeah, just so you know.
I'm, you're watching but doing my local scrapbook store that's awesome yay evil scrapper i didn't know you're here I, didn't, I don't even know who's on because i i can barely keep up with the chat while crafting at the same time i'm just adding a little bit more adhesive on the corner here i don't want it to lift and then what i want to do is i want to add a black piece I'm just grabbing it right here hang on and it is right here okay this one that i had showed you that had that cool funky background okay but i, I actually just want the black part and i can't remember what size it was and because i'm not a measurer but i think it's an inch so i'm going to cut an inch and then we'll see if it's not that okay then that's okay one by I think I need to sharpen my blade uh oh one by how big is this one by what is this six six yeah by six all right as soon as we put this puppy on we are ready to embellish ready to embellish and what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put beautiful pieces of lace here so you won't even see the seam it'll be awesome okay and what i like to do i do like to use some liquid adhesive because there's metal on here and it adheres a little bit better okay so that would be my recommendation and it's very stringy all right just like that just like that and i'm just pressing it really hard because of those um, brads but I love the contrast that this has yeah Walmart is great I do have a, a laser printer does not run and laser printers are fabulous so that that's what you can do but if you have a, a different type then no I wouldn't use it ink is very expensive you are late, but that's okay. You're not that late. You're good. Okay. Sorry. I'm just pressing. I just want to make sure that it's really down before I move on to the next step. Okay. And before I actually move to the next step, let me grab the lace because I forgot to grab the lace. I think it's, it's my, oh, here it is. Here it is. This is some vintage lace that I had found. Oh no, this is not the one. Sorry. Never mind. Hang on, I'm just grabbing it. Ta-da. This is my favorite lace. And yes, I have ribbons of it. I have spools of it because I I just love it. I can't never get enough of this stuff. This is that Prima. I'm not sure Alda has this in her store, but I I buy this by the it's called. Just like that okay I'm so excited for the next steps we're gonna have some fun I'm using my gigantor scissors oh I'm um, are we frozen Oh, are we frozen right now or are we good we're frozen uh oh let me know when I'm unfrozen okay okay we're back Whew. there's a lot of people on tonight and that happens All right. I'm not sure what you missed, but I'm just moving on. Because otherwise we never get to it, right? And then I will paste some of these pieces down so that they look a little bit better. OK. 
okay just like that okay in case you picture's frozen uh oh shoot okay let me see if i can do something hang on Are, are we okay now? Not frozen? Okay, good. Whew. All right. All right, all right. We're back on, baby. We're back on. I'm just applying a little bit de um, of this on the tips so that um, they stay down because they're kind of lifting a little bit. Kind of lifting. Just a tiny bit. Just kind of got tangled in the um mm -hmm. oh dear okay just a moment just like that thought maybe it was yvonne i have no idea who is texting me at the moment As long as we're not frozen, I am happy. I am very, very happy. And I'm just holding this down for a moment. Just like that. Isn't that pretty though, so far? Doesn't that look awesome? Oops, I'm sorry. I love it. I love this lace. I think it makes everything look beautiful. I would use it on everything if I could. I'm so sad they don't make it anymore. I think I only have two spools left of it. I just love it. Okay, I'm just going to cut that little piece off. Okay, there we go. All right, I think it's time to build our mini album. I just want to make sure it's really down. What do you guys say? Or I, I should say embellish our mini album more than anything. Um, I don't sell it. <laughs> I don't sell it in this pool. I will never sell my spool. <laughs> do, do you sell that, Alda? <laughs> yeah head on over and buy it out because <laughs> i you better buy it before i get there because i didn't realize she carried it i am so gonna go and get it <laughs> so you better hurry because i'll be asking for the entire roll <laughs> All right, so let's embellish this puppy. What do we say? Okay, so if you notice that this can cut this, what's going to happen is when you close this, it might peel off a little bit. So once you're done embellishing, you may want to just um, um, make sure you reapply some glue. But because this is wet, it's going to move around, which is okay. We can recover it after. See how it's lifting a little bit? It just needs to be uh, to have a little bit more glue. That's all. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'll hit check the checkout. You got it. Okay, so let's embellish. I keep saying okay, and I'm getting sick of myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this off to the side, and I'm going to show you a really funky technique, since I know you guys are technique junkies. So if you are crafting with me, what you want to grab is you want to grab some tissue paper or uh, packaging paper. This is actually uh, paper for like packaging packages so it is a little bit thicker um than than tissue paper okay but tissue paper works just fine so what you're going to do is you're going to take i like to use my new favorite thing for embossing is this ranger um emboss it dauber i love it right if you guys haven't seen it before it's really great you don't need to like try and get your stuff in a you know in a little ink pad you can just go ahead and rub it on right like how fun is that so i i love to use that and that's what i'm going to use tonight okay and i'm going to take this puppy right here which is a stamp by kaiser craft it's one i had in my stash and i'm going to create some amazing effects using so look at the amazing do you guys remember that last show I showed you some of these amazing aged ivory embossing enamels. 
well i'll be using some of these tonight i just haven't decided there's also aged aqua which is amazing so i don't know if you can see it um but it's like isn't that gorgeous so that's aged aqua uh this is what is this one aged teal so i don't know if you can see the teal there can you guys see that and this one is called shabby blue how cute is that? Embossing powders. Aged embossing powders. Hey, Ava. And look at this. This is the shabby pink. Okay, ask Canada to help you get a snack. Okay, ask her to help you get some. Just be careful, okay? All right. So I haven't decided, but I think maybe we want to do a little bit of the this shabby blue, I think. Or... Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Shabby aqua, I think. This teal is cool too, though. Let's do the teal. What the heck? We're doing the teal. Be decisive. Okay. So I'm just going to apply this on here. Okay, just like that. And then uh, I'm going to apply it right here. Actually, we're going to apply it right to the top. I don't care that it's ripped because this is going to be really, really cool in a moment. Okay. And you don't have to be perfect. The this effect that we're going to create is not supposed to be perfect. Which one did I say I was going to use? This one, right? This is called aged teal. All right. And it's really, really thick. It's really, really fun. Okay. And there's a fluff there. I'm going to move this off to the side for a moment. I'm not going to give this a nice heat set. Who's drinking? You guys see that okay let me show you this awesomeness whoops sorry gorgeous right so i just want to make a whole bunch of different patterns okay so i want to keep going so i'm going to use some more of this stuff and i'm going to apply it like right there i'm going to be using a whole bunch of this where'd it go So right now it's like I'm creating my own pattern paper. That's really kind of what I'm doing. Can you guys see how awesomeness this is? Stunning, right? I know. Just lovely. I just love, love, love. And I love this stamp too. I'm not going to use too much of it. I only need a little bit, but I just want to create some more. So I'm going to be scrunching it up anyhow. So it's not like you're going to be see, seeing the pattern all that well anyhow. So I'm not overly worried about how I'm stamping either. We're going to do one more and then we're going to cut it up. So I'm going to stamp again. It's um, it's a butterfly with um, with like flowers and script, all of the above that you just mentioned. Actually, all of the above. It's a um, I gotta find the cover for you, but I'm not sure where it is. Um, it's a Kaisercraft stamp. If I'm not mistaken, Kaisercraft.
you got to be careful with tissue because as you can see it burns it'll melt very quickly okay just like so all right so we're good now right i'm just going to dump this back in oh i'm sorry the liquid thing this is called um, emboss it dauber by ranger it's clear emboss it dauber so it's um instead of using a stamp and uh, an embossing pad like versamark you can just use that isn't that cool so it's really really neat yeah you're welcome i'm just going to put this off to the side but check this out you guys is that not just neato i i just love it all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to rip Okay, just like that, and I'm going to put that away. And when we create this at first, you're going to be like, um, what are you doing? What are you making? It looks weird, but don't worry. It's mixed media. It'll look awesome in the end. I'm just trying to figure out which page I want. I think this one, this side. And so what I want to do, I want to rip some of these edges off. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm first creating the background, okay? to the texture the background all half of this is going to be just out anyway so i'm going to actually apply this because i'm going to be using this as some of my texture right so i'm going to using this glue just like that and this is going to be some of my beautiful textures kind of like this gorgeous um spider web type awesomeness that's what it is awesomeness and you can get this at the Flying Unicorn as well. It's amazing. And I can't wait to order more of this because it's amazing. If you don't have like cheesecloth or something for your, um, you know, you can't find it, order this. Like how beautiful is that? And there's another color too that Alda sent me. I just, it's kind of, I think it's more brown. It's amazing. It is. It's a mix. What it is, it's... Um, sorry these these pow these embossing powders if you want me to talk a little bit more about them sorry they are an htl embossing in lml so there's like there's really really chunky stuff there's like silver in here there's gold really chunky then there's teal embossing powder and there's a little bit of a little bit of silver so lots and lots of stuff okay um do i ever do a steampunk style uh eh. i it's not my usual style but Yes, I've done it before. I used to do it a lot, all the time. Just haven't in a while. Probably in a couple of years, I'm going to say. Okay, and I'm just applying this here for some more texture. Okay. Just like that. Perfect, the mundo. And then do you remember, this one's going to, don't worry if you don't like the color. All of this is going to be, most of it is going to be covered, so it's not even going to matter. Um, I'm going to use this for a little bit of texture as well, and I'm going to put it right there. It's going to be so gessoed anyhow that it's not going to matter. It just isn't going to matter. And I'm actually going to fold a little bit. What I like to do is I like to crease, create creases and folds so that when we apply gesso over top of this, it's going to, um, it's just going to give us a really funky look. Okay. Funky, funky, funky. And I'm just, I'm going to be so glued by the time we're done. Look at my fingers are like sticking together. I know, right? Aren't those scissors wicked? They're a little bit scary, aren't they? All right. Just like that. Okay. Perfect. The mando. And I'm just holding this down because because it's a heavy ribbon, then I just want to make sure that it's really, really down. Steampunk is not my usual style. Um, it used to be. That's so funny because it used to be. I just changed styles. 
I don't know. I, you know, I actually, I got to tell you guys, I don't like to say I have a style. I like to try new things all the time. So I, I'm not one to stay in a certain genre. I really like to change my styles all the time. So that's, that's kind of me, right? Okay. So I'm just holding that down. All right. So I'm going to move that off to the side. So that created a little bit. Of, oh no, I'm going to add a little bit more right here. No, maybe later. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this and I know it looks very weird, but what I want is I kind of want to, I do want to see some of the blues that are still sticking there, but I do want to apply some of this so that we can see it. So I want some of that white part to come off and we are going to spray this. So the, even the white isn't going to show. Okay. But I want to take some of this off. Okay. And I want to start scrunching it up. I could use matte multimedium actually for this, but I'm not going to. I'm just using this because it's accessible and it's a good glue. And I'm just going to rip just like that. I'm going to apply some more like the butterfly right here. I'll scrunch it up up there. Okay. You guys are like, what the hell is she making? Seriously. <laughs> <sighs> Don't worry. I actually have a plan in my head. I actually know what I'm making tonight. Because they're like, um, it looks really weird right now. I'm sure I like it. I don't like it either. Not yet. Not till the end. Never judge the first process. Yes, they're metallic and color. Yeah, you got it. Okay. So I'm just applying layers right now. All right. So we're going to move on, that off to the side. And just let that dry for one second. I'm just going to throw these little pieces out. And then while this dries a little bit, I'm just going to let this sit for one moment. And I'm going to take, and I'm actually going to gesso my cute little frame. And I'm going to gesso, I'm going to leave that. Um, I really like that flower, so I'm going to leave that. But I'm going to gesso the rest. Okay. And I'm going to gesso that, and I'm going to put some on here. I'm going to take a brush, one of my little gesso brushes, and gesso it up. It might need a couple layers, which is fine because it's orange. And we really do not want orange. But we're going to be actually playing with some of our Inca gold tonight, which you can also get at um, the Flying Unicorn. It's really awesome stuff. Oh my gosh, it's 7.51. How does this happen to me? I tell ya. Just like that. I'm in, I'm in the zone when I paint. So if you're asking me questions, I'm sorry. I can't uh, answer. Yes, the gesso um, is um, orange. So I'm painting it um, white because I don't like the orange. And not only that, if I put a little bit of paint on it, then the gesso is going to apply as a good barrier. What's taking a long time? To, 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 to get to the movie. What? To get to the movie. What do you mean? Is the, is the Netflix not working? It is, but it's, the, it's your computer. Oh. Oh, my computer's making it slow? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, the show should be done soon, okay? But then we can do it. Yes, I'll let you guys stay up a little bit longer after my show, okay? Yeah, because we've only been watching in one movie, two movies, yeah. but... But... <laughs> Are you guys entertained? We have to do the little one. Okay. Okay, bye. See you upstairs. Mm-hmm. Okay, hang on one sec. My uh, plug came out. Just give me a moment. 
and I have just sewn hands. Hang on. Sorry about that. My plug of my computer just came out and we were going to, you're going to die on me. So I'm just gesso this puppy and I'm actually going to let it, and I'm actually going to gesso the center too. Okay. Just like that. And I know it still shows up as a little bit orange, but don't worry. Cause we're going to, we're going to be using so much paint that I'm not sure it's going to really matter because I don't think you'll see any of that. And then we can add, we can even add a second layer. Okay. Just getting some of the nooks and crannies in there. And because it's so shiny, it's such a shiny piece then it really wants to resist the gesso. So I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to do the same thing with this puppy. And I want to leave some of the gold. Like I don't want to do it fully. I just want to be rough with it. I want it to look semi distressed. So I don't need to totally cover my metal piece, but I really don't, I do want to leave that right there and I can always add a little bit more gold later it is a door knocker or yeah drawer actually like a drawer knocker that I got at some uh, vintage store or something I don't know where I got it to be honest with you I have a big giant bin of metal and I grabbed it today from in there okay so I'm gonna give this a quick oh my gosh look at my hands I'm gonna give this a quick heat set okay so that um, we can start applying it to the page and just so the page actually you know what I'm not gonna heat set it change my mind I'm gonna leave this off to the side and I'm gonna grab my page and get my album again and now I'm gonna start just sewing okay I'm gonna start just sew in and as you can see Some of this stuff is going to be covered okay and create really beautiful texture and the gesso that I'm using you guys is um, liquid text gesso okay um, and I use this for my shows but really the gesso that's my favorite is um, I, you know what? I have several favorites. I do like, I, I have a lot of favorites. I, I really like Goldens, but I have to also admit Deco Art actually makes a really great one. I found out. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be expensive to be good. That's just what I say. And I want to leave some of the green because this paper does have a little bit of green in it um, in the other pages. So I do want to leave some of that there. Can you guys see okay? So really what I'm doing right now is just distressing my page with a little bit of gesso. It's just applying texture, that's all this is. I'll be pulling out my Lindy's in a little bit. I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue here because it's lifting. This this spider web thing is kind of hard to work with sometimes because it's got so many holes in it, right? Which is fine, but it just has to stay. So applying lots of gesso right on the top there. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like so far. I'll lift it up so that you can see. I, look, I know it looks weird, but it has a ton of texture right now, and we want to just let it dry for a moment, okay? Can you guys see this okay? Okay, so just this is just cool texture. That's really all it is, right? So what we want to do next is now we want to put this back aside so that we can let that dry for a moment, and this... See, it's already kind of dry, so I want to apply a little bit more gesso now that it's a little bit dry so that um, it covers some of that orange. Just like that. See how now it covers it a little bit more? When you put that second layer, it's like it created a barrier, which is really awesome. 
but then when I go ahead and apply my inks, you won't even see that. That's why gesso is the best. No, I said gesso, not stresso, <laughs> but that's pretty funny. Gesso is um, a stress reliever. I love gessoing things. It's like the best thing ever. It really is, isn't it? I do love it when I gesso things. Just like that. Perfect. So we'll do that one and then this one just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to too much, so I'm just going to leave it just like that. I'm going to put this in water. I'm going to wipe my hands because I feel disgusting and I can't work when I feel disgusting. We still have half an hour to go, so everyone's all good, right? Oh, are we locked up right now? You're good? Okay. All right, so next we want to do is we want to dry this really quickly. Is Tanya Gibbs in the house? Miss Gibbs, aren't you supposed to be studying? <laughs> you bad, bad girl. Your head hurts? Okay, so you're allowed. You can come come hang with me tonight. The psycho mom is in the house. you guys this is like a crazy show there's so many people on tonight oh my gosh thank you for all for watching I love it so fabulous okay that's good enough it doesn't need to be like ridiculously uh, dry so don't even worry about it and I'm just gonna wipe some of this just so off because I know I'm just gonna get it everywhere and I, I really don't want to do that all right now that we've created this funky, super crazy texture, right? We want to start embellishing, but we want to embellish um, to a certain degree, and then we're going to start spraying and painting and getting all messy, okay? Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I never measured this before, but I thought this was going to be a little bit smaller. <laughs> that's okay. Let me grab, now what we're gonna grab, oh yes, before I forget, I'm sorry, we need to use our stencil. So, let me just pull this open for a moment. And we're going to use this lovely, lovely stencil. Oh, and it's got staples, ouch. There we go, just like that. And so we're gonna pull this off for a moment. And the only piece that I actually want to use is kind of like this flower thing. And we're going to use some modeling paste, which I have right here. And we're going to grab our knife, just like so. And it might not look like a flower after I'm done, but it'll certainly give it texture, which is all I'm really going for. Right? Lots of beautiful texture. a little bit down here. I just love modeling paste. Modeling paste is awesome. And I'm going to lift a little bit. And I know it looks all smudgy and stuff, but don't worry. It'll be awesome. And modeling paste creates really, really funky ridges. So I actually want to do a little bit of that because when we apply paint, the paint creates a really cool effect on, on, um, on little hills and stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just like that. Mm. 
You don't always need stencils to create. All right, that's all I want. You guys are like, what did she just do? All right, so move that out of the way. And I am gonna give this a quick heat set. Put this away. Yep, we're gonna paint. We're gonna spray away, baby. Um, you can use um, Magicals, Amazing Magicals by Lindy Stamp Gang for Inca Gold, which we will be using in a moment. It does lighten the color, so I I like to use a pigment in, with it. Bottling paste does dry really fast, so that's why I'm using it instead of super heavy gesso. But can you guys see that? I know it looks messy and gross, but I promise you, once we put paint on it, it'll look amazing. Okay, that's what it looks like right now. barely see the paper but that's hilarious okay we, I, and I'll be after the show I'll do the same to the back side but I just really wanted to create this with you through um, the front part at least um, on my show all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy right these guys and we're gonna start applying we're gonna start layering and spraying and start creating our really funky layers so we're gonna grab all our little pieces I think I'm gonna use either this one or this one I kind of like this one it's a little bit daintier it's not as thick so I think that's what I'm gonna use and this one's from dusty addicts and it's called cyclone wire okay and I'm not using the whole thing I'm just using a little bit and as you can see you can have lots left over for other projects and this also creates amazing texture right and I wouldn't um, I would try to hide as little as possible so you're not wasting it right so try and try and get as much visible as possible but isn't it so pretty I just love it just find it stunning it's like more and more texture I'm just playing with it right now I'm just laying things right don't you love that? Oh, who's PMing? Are you PMing me on Facebook? What? No. I don't think you guys are talking to me. So I'm just going to be quiet. If I hear PM, then I'll know. All right. So there's that one. So I'm going to put that one aside. Oh my gosh, I love this cart that's behind me right now. I can just like shove stuff after the sh as as I go along. I just love it. Love, love, love. Okay, this is from Scrap FX, and I love this puppy. Um, it's called, oh, what number is it? It's called embellishments. I, 8126. Alda, is that right? Okay, Ava, I'm on the show. So as soon as I'm done the show, baby, it'll be your turn, okay? So stop being impatient, honey. Otherwise, you're not getting anything. Got it? Ask Hannah to give you something. I'm doing the show right now. Okay, so I'm just applying it like that. As you notice, you don't always need to use... Um, you don't always need to use the full thing. And don't worry, I'm going to put something here so it does not matter that this is showing. Okay. Um, will it be heavy? I don't know. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Yeah, I love cutting up my chippies. I don't think I ever use anything in full. It's it's very rare that I do, that's for sure. I'm not going to use this one, it's too much. And um, I'm probably not going to use these. Well, yeah, I will. Um, this one I won't. This one I probably will. I kind of want to stick some on the top. This guy, a little bit too much maybe, so we'll put that off to the side for now. 
Um, oh, let's take this guy out. So this is that the bird. It's called um, Bird in Branches by Twiddly Bits. I don't know why the ads are in French. I'm sorry that they are. But this is just so flippin' pretty. Like, seriously. I, I just want more of it. I just want more. And I'm going to rip it up. I'm going to have him sitting, like, right there. Or something like that. Ooh, just like that. And then maybe we're going to have, like, a branch coming out from here. From there. From everywhere. I don't know. Maybe a branch coming out from right there. I'm playing. Can you see? See how I play? People ask me, how do you come up with designs? This is how I come up with designs. Seriously. I play. A lot. I play until I like. Okay. So do you notice how, like, you can have one chipboard piece for multiple projects. That's what's so great, right? I did change my nail color. My usual lady was not there. I don't know where she was. And um, I had another lady, which I didn't really like that much, and she painted it pink. I think i got to go back and get it black. I'm liking it less and less every day. And they're kind of thick. I'm not liking them. I'm not happy. So anyway, I kind of like the way this looks so far. Can you see that? Doesn't that look awesome so far? Okay. And now we need the flowers. And then we're going to show you how to do the inside pages because we have lots of time. I'm actually working fairly fast right now. This is what happens when you're semi-organized. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, where is it, our amazing flowers. And I want a little bit of pink and a little bit of black. These are the uh, Vianetta Almanac flowers. And I don't know, I really like, I really like this one. I actually really like this big one. Let me try this one out for a moment. Ooh, I like that one. Yep, I really like that one. Okay, so we like that one. That's what I have to say about that. And then I kind of like the little ones. There they are. Most of them are going to be painted anyway, so it doesn't even matter what color I grab, to be honest with you guys. But we do need the little ones, okay? We need some... some oh, I love this one. This is really funky, but we need pink. We need some pink, and we need them kind of here and there and everywhere. Ooh, I might have actually some of the branches coming out of here. Okay, we'll see. And last but not least, I'm actually going to take one of these flowers that are right here. Just give me a minute. I'm just grabbing a flower that is hiding on me. I am roses here that I have that I really want to use and I want to kind of put them together just like what are you doing just watch I'm gonna create dimension that's what we're doing so I'm only using the corner of them we're doing lots and lots of dimension we're gonna kind of glue them going to sit on top of here. Okay, perfect. I know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to start gluing, and then um, and then we're going to gesso. Can you guys see okay still? I hope so, since I can't see you guys. Okay, so let's use this guy. Loving it? Okay, good. Thanks, Elda. I'm loving all the stuff you sent. It's amazing. Like, this stuff is just so beautiful to work with. So unbelievable. 
so me. Just making sure it's really down. Oh, Andy, you're not doing so hot. I know you had your surgery. Hi. Um, oh, never mind. Sorry, I was going to say something. You know what I'm going to do, you guys? Because I don't want it to be so thick. I'm ripping this off. Because I actually don't need it. Okay, and this kind of gives you a little bit more. Um, it's not as thick, which I really like. So I can glue it really well. Is everybody still with me? that and I just want to put my hand underneath there until it's kind of glued okay hello Marilla My hands are sticky, mm -hmm. sticky, icky. It's just like that. I'm going to apply this down. This could be a little bit tricky. What am I going to use? This might make me really sick, but um, do I want to use E6000? Oh, God. God help me. Okay, I'll use the beacon because I think E6000 might make me throw up like last time. Honestly, I just can't use that stuff. It's horrific. I don't know what they use in it, but oh god. I just, I really don't feel like throwing up. <laughs> oh yes, um, Alda, can you post the link to your store, or Yvonne, would you mind posting the link to the store? There's people wanting to go on the store. Thank you so much. Is that Shauna? <gasps> Jordy! You're on! Yay! Okay, I'm just holding this down because it's so heavy that I just want to make sure it's really down. Okay. Oh man, it's really it's kind of coming off. It just I think I might need to use this. Or hot glue gun. I can't even open this. I think it's, I think it's, um, yeah, I think it's meant to happen. I'm not meant to open that thing because I'm going to get so darn sick. Let me just hold it down for a little bit. You can ask me questions. Lots of people on tonight. So nice. Yeah, hot glue is best for this kind of stuff. I didn't turn it on before the show. Usually I do. You guys know that. But I wasn't very smart today. When am I coming to Australia? I don't know the date yet. The dates yet. But I'll let you know as soon as I know. Thanks, Miss Evil Scrapper. Love you. Good night, Tanya. They do ship to Canada. The flying unicorn does definitely ships to Canada. Okay, it's still drying, which is fine. Okay, so let's put the flowers on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create this really cool layering effect. Let's see if I can do this. Okay watch me do this just watch you just watch baby funky funky effect just like that 
this will sit on top. What, Ava? What do you need, honey bunny? I'm sorry, honey, but if you don't stop, then you're not going to get it when, when I go upstairs. So you better go upstairs before you don't get it. I would run if I were you. I'm almost done. Yeah. Get up there. I, Ava, in, in your playroom, what? in your playroom, I put a kit that's on your table and it's got um, inside of it, there's all these penguin stickers. And it's my scrapbook paper kit. You can go look at it. There's penguins and all this fun stuff, okay? Hopefully she'll go scrapbook. Maybe she'll make me a canvas. <laughs> As you guys know, her and her canvases. Sorry, I'm having to hold this down because this bugger is like not wanting to stay at all. Kind of disappointed with it not wanting to stay. Now, what, what the heck can I use? Oh, I better plug in my hot glue gun while I'm playing with this puppy. Sorry, guys. That wasn't very smart of me to not have my hot glue gun. It, it's on, baby. It's on as we wait. Okay, and I'll move on to other stuff. So I'll put the, fla the other flowers on. Okay, just like that. And like this. I know, right? She's so cute. She loves to craft. And she loves to craft with me. That's that's the, her thing. Is she loves to be with mommy. So I really love that because it's kind of like our moment to be together. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So this is kind of good. It's looking good. And there's a, an embellishment that needs to go here. And you guys know what I'm about to pull out, right? What am I going to pull out? Ta-da! You guys saw this earlier. Most of you saw these earlier. Right? The, I'm just going to pull this off to the side while this dries for a moment. So um, we're going to put something really beautiful in there. But I'm thinking a bird. I'm thinking one of the gorgeous birds. Aren't these stunning? I just like one more than the next. Like, they're just so beautiful. This is really cute, actually. You know what? We could use this cute little, um, I know, right? These are the flying unicorn, but look at these guys. Hang on. Oh, what did I do? Look at this guy. If that's not cute or what? Like, I just love that. I'm just looking. Oh my God, that looks so cute. So there's that one. There's the gorgeous crowns. Oh, these, I th I'm thinking these birds. That's what I'm thinking. And the key. The bird and the key. And, and maybe a little clock. That's what we'll use, maybe. Okay. Shauna, are you getting jealous? <laughs> I know you gotta go get some they're so beautiful they're so so beautiful this thing's gonna be like a hundred pounds by the time we're done with it it's so awesome okay we still need to gesso some of it but we do need a bird in there I just need to figure out which one this one is kind of hard to see so that's a no so we'll put that one back <laughs> that one would be really funky but a little bit chunky for me a little bit too chunky. Maybe we're not doing a bird. Okay, we're not doing a bird. Maybe we're doing a key. This is how you play. You gotta find what works, right? We're gonna do a key. I really like this one, but I wanna use it for a different project that I have in mind. 
so i think we're going to use this key oh yeah baby look at this key and a little clock i know right they're super cheap you guys you must go get some you must it'd be a shame for you not to oh i actually like these little ones oops just ripped some of the packaging off yeah all right there oh my god that looks so cute okay I'm not even sure you guys can see it, but it actually looks super cute. It almost needs a bigger one, actually. I wonder if the bigger one would look better. Sorry, I changed my mind a lot. Can you tell? And I want to tuck. Yeah, like that. I love that. All right, we'll put this off to the side. Let's glue these on, but let's glue them on with a hot glue gun. Hopefully it's working. Yes, it's ready. It's ready. Yay. Yay for hot glue guns. They're the lifesavers when others things don't work in our life. Hot glue gun saves the day. Da -da 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 -da. They need like a hot glue guns need like What what happened? What did I miss? Are you guys getting it at 20% off again? Man, you guys are lucky. You guys are lucky ducks, aren't ya? All this so good to you. Just making sure it's really down, okay? And I'm going to show you this in a second, but we're going to just so have this thing anyhow. It's going to look so different in a moment. And we still need to paint, right? Oh, I'm, I'm going over, I'm going to go over time. Is that okay with you guys? Are you guys going to be okay if I go over time a little bit? Please say yes. <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> yes, that's the one, Eva. It, it was in that bag. Yes. On, on that white table. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. It's all yours, baby cakes. Can I use that? Honey, it's all yours. It's for you. She's so excited. It's that um, the cute new uh, winter Echo Park line, and I had used it for a kit, so she gets the remainder of my stickers. I did use some. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's like. What? You're giving me something you used? Okay, let me show you so far. This is kind of what it looks like, okay? It's not gessoed. Okay, so right now it's just placed all together. You love to watch me create? Awesome. Okay. So that's what we have so far. And now I'm going to apply a little bit more gesso and then we'll apply the paint. Okay, so I'm just applying a little bit more gesso. And where's my brush? Here it is. Just drying some of it off. I kind of want a fairly dry brush when I do this. And even the bird. And this gives me the opportunity to cover up the frame again that kind of got still a little bit of orange. And the clock, making sure that it's nice and oops I don't want to cover the face though okay just watching that face and then the flowers We are good. So now what we need to do is we need to give this a quick dry. Good 
night, Yvonne. Or are you off, Yvonne? Good night, love you. Thank you for modding for me. Sorry, I'm going a little bit over time, you guys. Even even after I had it so totally planned out, of course, right? Isn't that kind of what happens sometimes? Ouch. That's my finger that I just burnt. So before I apply the paint, I actually do want to apply these buggers um, on there because I don't want them to be so shiny. So I actually want to apply these on the corners. Yes, I will be showing inside the pages later. So we might need to go for another half an hour. This is kind of a big project. I should have planned for a two hour show instead of just a one and a half hour show. I just wasn't really thinking. Um, but you know, you guys are generous with your time. So if you want to stay, stay. And if you want to go, you can go. It's up to you. I know, um, you can always watch the recording, so that's not a big deal, you guys. So don't feel obligated that you have to stay. I know it's not always easy. You have kids and your and life. Okay, so this is what we've got going on so far. Okay, can everybody see okay? I know, right? Well, you can actually see it in real life, but it's so funny, right? This is how you create texture. It's so hilarious. You can barely see things. I know this is what happens when you build layers sometimes it's like eh, you just see you can actually see it it's right here a little bit right here a little bit right here so you can see it but it's just very subtle right Tanya you're still on here <laughs> I thought you went home I thought you went away all right so now let's do the fun stuff okay so I'm putting this off to the side for one moment because I want to show you something really fun so if there may be many of you that are not big spray fans so you don't usually buy sprays or you want another use for your sprays so here's a really fun way to be able to you know still have sprays but um, buy something different that can be versatile so here is the magicals if you haven't seen the magicals before they are um, a powder ink form with some mica in it and they're two-tone powders and what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you you can actually make your own ink or you can use them as um, with modeling paste you can use them with um, alcohol you can use them with gel you can use them with anything you want right so for right now what we're going to do is we're going to actually use them to create um, our our color okay so these are already pigmented inks and then I like to use my little rubber nubby and you don't need a whole lot because this is a really highly concentrated ink, like very highly concentrated. Okay, so you don't need a whole lot. I probably even put too much. And this is called Tainted Love Teal. Okay, so I'm going to create several different ones and I have some water here beside me. So I'm just going to put some in here. Hang on. Okay, and so here's one. I probably have a little bit too much. Hang on. I just don't want it to spill when I close it. Okay, so there's one and I'll shake it up. And then another one, I have some water in here already. So let's use, we need kind of like a, 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 a chocolate brown. There's dark chocolate truffle or there's Cadbury chocolate. So let's use Cadbury chocolate for now. And if we need a darker one, then we'll make another one or we can just use our sprayers that I have. Okay, just a little bit. Just applying a little bit more okay just like that and what you see in here is not what you get in here you'll see in a moment okay this will turn brown watch isn't that funny look totally different right isn't that magical okay so there's that and then um, 
which other color should we do? We need a little bit of pink in there, right? And a little bit of green. So um, the green will be for that mister. And then let's do a pink. So the, how about that one? Cosmopolitan pink. And I'm not sure what's in here, but let me dump it out. There's like an orange in there or something. So this might be a weird color because there was something in there. Okay, so there's some cosmopolitan pink. We'll grab some water. We'll add it in here and watch the magic. Might be a little bit of an orangey pink because there was some orange in there, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with a little orange pink. Okay, just like that. And if you find that they're too light, just add a little bit more, right? That's what's so awesome about these um, about these magicals is you can add as much as you want. Like let's make the green a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm just adding significantly more than I did to the other ones. And I'll just add a little bit of water, maybe adding less water. And so now I'm making it a little bit more concentrated. right so just like that right this one it needs a little bit more pink I think so I'm going to dump some of that water out and we'll add a little bit Ooh, let's mix some do we have another pink no I don't so I can oh I do I do too let's put some coral in it Ooh, let's do that see you can mix colors look how beautiful how fun right this is why magicals are so fun to use. What's that? You don't own any Lindy's? Okay. So here I have my four colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to shake them up and I'm going to start spraying. All right, babies, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for a good time? Okay, hang on, let me just prep them. This one is really full. Come on. This is this mini mister is super full. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. I just had to dump some of it out because it wasn't allowing me to spray. Oh, it's not spraying. Oh, there we go. Come on, mini mister, work. There we go. It's like, it's like on drugs, like it doesn't want to spray a little bit at a time. There we go. Okay. Okay. So you see some blue coming? See the blue drippage? And watch the white gesso start to pop. Do you guys see that? Isn't that amazing? Okay, so just like that. We let it drip. And then now we want to add, we don't want to dry it, we just want to keep adding. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the green. To let it mix. it's not beautiful and then last we'll, we'll do the pink just shake it up a little bit they do have lots of shimmer in them and I really diluted them right like I didn't put a whole lot but you can make them really dark oh come on mini mister work work baby work 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 if not I'm gonna go grab my actual Lindy spray my pink spray. Okay, I'll go grab a pink spray. Hang on. This is uh this is called Alpine Ice Rose. And we're just using a little bit. I don't want too much pink on here. I actually want more blue than anything. Okay, so we'll let that drip. 
And then I want to start adding a little bit more blue again because I want that blue to be the prominent color. Okay. And I might go grab it and make it darker. I'll go grab the spray. This is, um, Danny Suko's denim is more in a flat color, so it's a little bit darker, but look at that. I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we need a little bit more green because the blue and the green create the most amazing color together. And as you can see, I'm just loading it up with spray, right? And allowing it to just do its thing. What do you guys think so far? Is that not stunning? <laughs> They're Lindy's, yeah. They're fun, huh? Okay, so so many options. So let me just give this a quick dry. I mean, look at the flat, the way the flower turned out. Isn't that stunning? Talk about Lindy's goodness. I'm sorry I went over time, you guys. That wasn't my intention. Oh, thank you. So what we're going to do is I really want to show you the inside pages. So we're, let's do this in five minutes. Okay. Let's do this really quick and let's, uh, sorry, let me put this off to the side so that it can dry. And uh, let's do the inside pages really quick. At least let's do one so that I can show you how easy it is to create the inside of this album. Because it's really intricate on the outside, but it really doesn't have to be intricate on the inside. That's what's so beautiful because with albums, right, if you give this to somebody that you love very much, but they're not a scrapbooker, then it's really great to just give them something that they can flip through and, and put... Um, you know, add their own thing without um, having that stress of being a scrapbooker. So let me grab the paper. And so this is the paper that we were going to use. So we're only going to make one, okay? And we're going to need two different kinds of paper. So we'll use that one. And let's use this beautiful one right here, okay? So we'll use these two. And we set the measurement of the album was uh, six by, what was this? What's this measurement? I can't even remember anymore. Hang on. It was, each page was, just a second here. It was, sorry, five and a half, right, by, we actually got to measure this guy, right, but five and a half by six, okay? So five and a half by six. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your page of choice. Hopefully you guys are still staying on. Okay, five and a half by six. Got that? And we're going to do... Sorry, I'm trying to rush. Five and a half. by six and I'll cut that little piece off in a moment there we go so we'll do the same thing with the other side with the other paper aren't these papers amazing you guys I just love them 
They're so stunning. Five and a half by six. Just like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do, okay, this is like, are you guys ready to see how easy this is? Whoops. Sorry, there goes my light. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to take um, your adhesive and you want to use liquid adhesive. Let me tell you why. Because we're going to be creating a pocket, when you add dry adhesive like a tape runner, every time you stick your tab in, you're actually going to get it stuck. Have you ever noticed that when you create tabs and your tabs keep getting stuck? You want to use liquid adhesive. That prevents it from happening. Okay. It's a trick I learned a long time ago. My paper's a little bit off. <laughs> learned that lesson exactly so I just wanted to make sure you knew it and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my punch which I'm going to grab hang on I love to use my circle punch right this is a, a third one and three eighths and I'm just going to do that and now all you need to do is literally punch two holes on either side right with your hole punch and these pages go inside just like that okay and then what you can do is you can just add envelopes and tags inside of your page so super super easy I think I did it the wrong way by the way it's a little bit uh, too long so it's okay just cut it um, I think I was supposed to do it this way I was but actually what you can do is you can alternate you can have one that has a tag coming up and then another one that has a tag coming this way right have fun so I just wanted to show you that really quick so that at least you know so all you'll have to do is just punch holes on either side you just measure you just take this puppy and you measure with your pen let's do it so that you can see it here and here and so then I know that I can take my hole punch and hole punch right here and hole punch right here now I can go ahead and open it and how easy was that and then I can now have a little tab album okay and what I would do is I would make sure that you might want to actually cut them a little bit smaller I'm thinking maybe you want to cut an inch off like I'm thinking maybe an inch off just because when you close it it kind of sticks out so Let's do it a little bit smaller, right? Like about half an inch, three quarters of an inch off. And then do that. So that when you close it, you don't have that issue. Okay. Does that make sense? And then I'll show you the completed album. But the pages are not going to be over embellished. I really just wanted them to, to be easy. But look at that, it's drying and it looks so, so cool. And then you can put a little title here, you can put a little photo, so I haven't even thought about what I was gonna put in here, but one lucky winner tonight is going to win this mini album. What do you guys think? One lucky winner is gonna get this puppy. Even though I wanna keep it now, yeah do you guys want it <laughs> um you know what is alda still on here or did she get off if alda's here i'd like her to pick the winner let's see if she's on here she is alda do you want to pick a random winner Why don't you get the honors of pick? No, you don't want to. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Would you rather me do it? I just want to give it to you all. Okay. Okay. Choose a number. Okay. Choose a number.
So, okay. So what's the, you guys have to start giving her the numbers because she's chosen a number. You guys are going so fast, you probably can't pick it that fast. Wow. <laughs> okay, stop. She said stop, you guys. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Alda wants to post. Stop. 